equals mc squared. It's the world's most famous equation, but what does it really mean? Essentially, it's saying that energy is the same as matter. But more specifically, it's saying that energy equals mass or matter times the speed of light squared. However, the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Bhagavan Srinathananda Paramashivam, has declared to the world this equation isn't completely correct because it's incomplete. Some of the major scientists and their theories I am debunking, E equal to not mc square, cannot be mc square. What is mc square? The difference between intensity and continuity. It was a bold statement, but modern science is actually acknowledging it's a correct one. E doesn't exactly equal mc squared. Today's science is saying that energy and matter aren't identical. They're just interconvertible, like how you can exchange oranges for apples. But this is the basic flaw. The Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism is saying that this isn't the case, because they are actually identical. They are one. And quantum mechanics is just starting to realize this truth that everything exists as wave-particle duality. There's no separate matter or energy. Everything in the cosmos is one continuum of energy mass, also known as oneness or Advaita in Sanatana Hindu Dharma. Everything is wave energy and particulate matter with mass simultaneously. There's no separate mass of matter. Even the table in front of you vibrates as a wave. The continuum of oneness or Advaita, which matter and energy fluctuates on, is the only reality, it's the only truth. Without this understanding, E equals mc squared will remain an approximation, almost complete, but not quite. Just like if somebody were to ask you how tall you are, and you respond saying six feet, you might actually be five foot eleven and three quarters. The approximation that E equals mc squared can be made precise if we apply the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism's revelation that intensity and continuity are one without any boundary between the two. And this truth is something that quantum physics is beginning to understand through the phenomenon known as entanglement, which shows that no matter the distance between two particles, any action done to one particle causes an equal reaction in the other, instantaneously literally light years quicker than C, the speed of light. And there's a reason this is the first line of the first Upanishad. Isha vasyam idam sarvam. Whatever that exists is energy. One. If we all cognized the substratum of life is oneness, from that cognition, it can eliminate the root of all violence and social problems, from rising crime rates to global warming. And simultaneously, it would open the doors to manifesting extraordinary abilities and powers, latent inside us all. Today, there are individuals who cognize this truth, and they can experience various different states of consciousness that allow them to perform extraordinary abilities like reading while blindfolded, remote viewing, and more. This is experienced thanks to another revelation by the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, revealing how each human being can actually experience 25 different states of consciousness. To learn more about these different states or any other revelations from the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, click on the link below.